And now we have one of the more important results from the section. Trace is independent of basis. So more formally, uh, we have theorem 1015. So for an operator uh, on V, and if we have two different bases, uh, so U1 through Un and <clears throat> V1 through Vn, um, the trace of uh, T with respect to the U basis is the same as the trace of t with respect to the v basis. <coughs> and the proof is with the tools that we've developed now actually super straightforward. So if we take a to be our change of uh, basis matrix or our change of coordinates matrix from the coordinates in the u1 basis to the coordinates in the sorry in the u basis to the coordinates in the v basis <coughs> uh, then we can express the trace of uh, the matrix of t in the u basis in terms of the trace of, and now I'm going to um, use the change of basis formula to swap out that matrix with A inverse times the matrix in the other basis times A. And so this is um, by formula 10.7, the uh, change of basis formula. And then we can use the property uh, that we just proved in the last one uh, to swap. So here if we have um, this purple matrix times the A1, then we can write that in the other order. So we can have A times the purple one which says trace AB equals trace BA and then uh, of course these cancel to give you the identity matrix so this is just the trace of um, T in the V basis And we are done.